What is up guys, it's Swammer here, and today I'm going to be showcasing some uh, Master League battles using Melmetal, Kyogre, and Dialga. Uh, I have been using this team uh, for most of the time that rank, uh, that uh, Master League's been out. Uh, it's let me climb from about 2800 rating to um, 3080 or so. Uh, so I've definitely had some good success with this. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the video. So what I really like about this team is Melmetal on the lead is able to pressure shields uh, quite effectively uh, and catches a lot of um, good matchups on the lead, it's like particularly against Togekiss and Dialga. Uh, so in this first match, we catch a Togekiss on the lead. This is great for Melmetal, just going to try and farm energy as quickly as possible. They swap into their Melmetal. Uh, so I'm going to drop... Um, superpower, hoping to get the damage or the shield, uh, and then he actually is able to get to charge me, so I got a shield this as well, but he's used a shield as well, so not giving up any advantage here, and then I swap into Kyogre, because uh, now that he's been debuffed by superpower, uh, this is going to be really easy for my Kyogre to win this matchup. So just building up a bunch of extra energy, uh, no need to shield uh, any of the charge moves, none of them are going to hurt very much anymore. Um, I'm not able to farm him down all the way, so I do need to use a Surf here, but I've got a, still got a ton of stored energy on Kyogre for whatever comes in next. Uh, and it is going to be, um, I think it's a Giratina coming in, yeah. So the Surf doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's still some good chip damage, and I'm actually able to get to another one uh, before the Shadow Claws take me out. Uh, so that's going to get the Giratina to about half health. Uh, and Dialga is going to be able to come in and do some good damage with Dragon Blade. I do have to shield this. I don't want to let the Shadow Ball hit me at this point. Um, and then I'm just going to try and farm him down completely with Dragon Breath. Uh, he had a lot of stored energy there, so this Shadow Ball is going to do quite a bit of damage. Uh, but I'm able to take out the Dragon with just Dragon Breath there. Uh, with the Tuple Kiss coming back in, uh, I swap immediately into Melmetal. Uh, I probably could have gone for the Iron Head on Dialga, but I just wanted to get into this matchup as soon as I could, uh, knowing that he's still got that shield left. So drop the Rock Slide, uh, get to another Rock Slide before he's able to get to Flamethrower, um, and now he's going to have to drop Flamethrower, uh, otherwise I'm going to get to another Rock Slide. So Flamethrower comes in, that takes out the Melmetal, but uh, Dialga's got that Iron Head up just about ready to go, and this is going to be taking out the Togekiss. That was a good match. Uh, catching the Togekiss on the lead uh, definitely is really good um, when you've got your Melmetal up there, um, but was able to sort of maintain the switch advantage and make sure I got the Togekiss versus Melmetal matchup. So the one problem with this team is uh, Giratina Origin leads. I really don't have a good answer for that, and so um, we'll probably see that a little bit later on. But here I catch a Melmetal on the lead. Uh, against Melmetal, what I try and do is do nine Thundershocks and then go for back-to-back -back superpowers. Uh, he gets to goes for the superpower first, um, and actually he baits with the Rock Slide. So that was a good bait by him. Uh, I'm going to drop the superpower and uh, draw, then swap immediately into Kyogre to try and um, absorb some charge move damage here. Uh, I am able to do that, it's another rock slide, but he swaps then into Dialga. Uh, so I'm just building up energy here, hoping that he's gonna um, shield this, uh, thinking it's a blizzard. Uh, he does not though. Um, Get a little bit of lag, but I'm able to get to another Surf, so this is going to get it, be getting the Dialga fairly low. Uh, almost uh, down to... he's almost been taken out, actually. So, uh, just waiting to make sure that my switch timer's up here, and then going to be bringing the Melmetal back in. Uh, I am going to have to shield this, because he's definitely got enough for Thunder. Uh, it is an Iron Head, though, that he baits, uh, and then I'm just going to drop a Rock Slide to make sure that he can't get off another charge move. Drop the rock slide. Uh, it's probably going to be the um, 
nail metal coming back in. No, it's Kyogre coming back in, actually. Uh, so I use a superpower here, and then I'm going to have to swap out into uh, Dialga, because Kyogre would win that matchup. Uh, I'm able to swap and absorb the Surf damage, which is really good for me. Uh, but I'm still in a tough spot here. He's got a shield advantage, and now he's going to be able to use that Mel Metal um, to destroy Dialga. I've got no shields to stop the superpowers, so it's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, and I probably should have just gone for the Iron Head there, uh, rather than trying to get to the Thunder. Uh, but I don't think it would have made a difference, because um, I needed to still take out a shield. So there's really uh, not much hope for me there. Um, especially since he's got that guy over in the back, there's no way that Melmetal was going to be able to take them both out. So I'm able to get to uh, Superpower here, but he's going to shield it, and then the Waterfall damage is going to take me out. Taking just a little while to find a match here, but uh, we should get one soon. Uh, there we go. Uh, so in this third match, uh, we do come up against a Dialga lead. Um, so I'm going to be charging up, trying to go for back-to-back um, -back superpowers on him, and then swapping into our own Dialga. So go for the one superpower, um, and he lets that come through. Go for the second. This is definitely going to be getting a shield. Uh, otherwise, I'd be taking it out. But oh, he actually swaps into the um, Kyogre. So we swap into Dialga. I probably should have swapped into um, my own Kyogre because that would have been a better matchup, uh, knowing that he's got Dialga in the back. Uh, but he blocks the Thunder. Uh, so I'm thinking he's probably got Blizzard here, uh, but he does bait with the Surf. So uh, this de second one's definitely going to be Surf. Uh, but he did get a shield for me, so that's unfortunate. So I'm going to be able to Dragon Breath him down now, uh, but I'm guessing Diablo is coming back in, and uh, this is going to be taking me out no matter what it is. Uh, so I'm going to be coming back in with the Mel Metal here, uh, and charging up, and he brings in Giratina, which is tough, and this is why I should have gone um, to this over mirror matchup instead of going to uh, Dialga because Dialga is needed to take care of Giratina for my team. It's one of the biggest drawbacks of this team is that Dialga has to be able to take care of Giratina. Uh, so I think I definitely would have been better off to go into the mirror matchup. But I am just going to be getting some um, chip damage with Surf off on him. Um, he's going to be taking out the Kyogre here. Um, the Omnist Wind doesn't quite do it, but then the uh, Waterfall does. I swap in and use Rock Slide right away. This is going to be getting his last shield. Um, but I can't survive another Shadow Ball, so I've got to shield this. I figured it was probably Ominous Wind, but either way, it would get me too low. I just couldn't do it. And then he, my opponent does a great swap here on the charge move. This Rock Slide would have taken out the um, Giratina. Uh, but uh, either way, I think that I wouldn't have been able to take out the Dialga before Melmetal went down. So uh, good plays by my opponent there um, to recover from losing lead. Cause, uh, but all in all, that was a, a really close match. So on this fourth match, I catch another uh, Togekiss lead really good for me. He swaps out immediately into Snorlax. Uh, so I'm going to use a superpower here because that'll either get a shield or do super effective damage and then just swap into Kyogre. Uh, so Kyogre is going to um, have a really good matchup against Snorlax and just be able to uh, farm him down mostly with Surfs. 
So that's exactly what I do here. This body slam isn't going to hurt too much. Uh, and I'm just going to be able to keep farming him down with Surf's. And so I'll have a ton of loaded energy here uh, for whatever comes back in. Uh, it is the Togekiss coming back in. So go ahead and drop Surf. I'm uh, going to have back-to-back -back Surf's here that are either going to be getting the Togekiss low or getting the second shield. Uh, or sorry, getting the first shield. Uh, and it gets the Togekiss low, and so um, the Melmetal is going to come in, get the swap to Kyogre. Superpower uh, will get the Kyogre to about half health, almost. Um, oh, he actually drops the shield. But then I swap to, Dia swap to, to Dialga, which will be uh, a great matchup for me. I know there hasn't been enough time for Blizzard yet, so that Surf's not going to hurt very much. Uh, and then my opponent surrenders here because... Um, He's really got no no way that he can run that. So in this last matchup, we'll uh, see what we get. Just taking a little while to find a Mac. Uh, we got one now, though. So we catch a Metagross on the This isn't great for me, um, but what I'm going to do is just build up to uh, a little bit past a superpower, drop one, and then swap out into Kyogre. Um, superpower does a decent chunk, but just I can't use successive ones. So he swaps into Giratina here. Uh, Giratina is definitely super bulky and going to win the matchup against Kyogre. I'm going to try and build up and make him think that I've got Blizzard, uh, and then just drop back to back surfs. Uh, the nice thing about him bringing in Giratina is that I know that none of Giratina's charge moves are all that threatening, um, so I don't need to shield against anything that Giratina does. And I, I just barely couldn't get that last surf off. It definitely would have been better if I could. Um, but going to be bringing in the Dialga here to farm him down with Dragon Breaths. He's got a lot of stored energy, so he's going to be able to get off several charge moves against me. So Dragon Claw uh, comes in back to back Dragon Claws. And I think he's probably going to be able to get to a third because he had a lot of energy stored. Um, so he is able to get to a third. But again, I don't want a shield. Uh, because I know that, that those just aren't going to do a ton of damage. So uh, I've got a bunch of stored energy now um, on Dialga. I do want to shield this because even a Meteor Mash would take me out. Uh, and I should be able to get um, his shield with a Iron Head. So I do get his shield and then I swap right back into Melmetal and uh, he's going to be dropping another Meteor Mash, but I'm worried it could be Earthquake, so I do go ahead and shield. Uh, and then he's within Rock Slide range, so just drop the Rock Slide here, uh, which he actually shields. So that's good for me getting his second shield, because I'm going to be able to get to that Rock Slide before he can get to another Earthquake. So that's able to take out the Metagross. Uh, and then I've got Snorlax left, which uh, that's good news for me, going to get up to two superpowers uh, and then just release them back to back, which will get Snorlax very low. Um, and uh, then I'll be able to swap into my Dialga just to finish him off with Dragon Breath. Oh, actually, he he's able to get to a charge move, so that's even better um, because it means that uh, Melmetal absorb, or Dialga absorbs some damage and then Melmetal can get to another superpower. So that takes out the Snorlax, so uh, able to win that last one to go to 3 of 5. Uh, it's not my best uh, set, but um, was able to still uh, at least stay where I was in the ranking. So uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.